Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're just past the ninth of Av Tisha B'Av, a fast day morning for destruction of the first temple, second temple, and everything else that comes with it. I hope the fast was easy. And maybe it shouldn't be easy because if it's easy, then we're not mourning so much for the destruction of the temple. So I don't know what's the right thing to say. It should be easy or not easy. But whatever it is, hopefully we shouldn't have to fast again. After this fast of Tisha B'Av, we are getting closer to a very special day coming up this Monday. And this is the 15th day of Av, as we call it, Tu B'Av. And in between uh, Tisha B'Av and the 15th of Av, we have this Shabbat. We call it Shabbat Nachamu. Let's learn something from that. Let's see what is the specialty of the 15th of Av. What does the Shabbat mean to us this week? In very short and brief. The first thing that we're learning about Tu Be'av, the Talmud teaches us that Tu Be'av is one of the greatest holiday. It's great like the holiday of Yom Kippur. What's so great about this holiday? The Talmud brings a few different explanations and a few different reasons what makes that holiday so special. But let's just speak by the first point of Tu Be'av. And then we'll understand the relationship and the connection from Tu B'Av to the fast of the night of B'Av just passed. Una Shabbat in the middle relates to all that. So the first story of the 15th of B'Av that happened to the Jewish nation it was when the Jews were in the desert. And as we know after the story with the spies, when God said that this generation will not enter Israel, there would be every year the ninth day of B'Av, all Jews would go in to a burial that would make themselves. And whoever was meant to be alive would be able to get up next morning and go on for another year. Whoever was meant to be over for him, he would stay inside. This was going on for 40 years. And the story is the 40th year, the Jews went and did the same thing at the ninth day of Av. And they put themselves into the burial, every single one of them. And the next morning, Moshe Rabbeinu told them to get up. Every one of them got up. Everybody was alive. Nobody stayed. So they realized probably they made a mistake. It's not the ninth day of Av. Because with ninth day of Av, some of them should have stayed. So they did it again the 10th. They did it again the 11th and the 12th and so on. And every morning was the same thing. And finally, the Talmud teaches us when it came the 15th day of Av, and the 15th day of Av, this is a night when the moon is full. At that night they realized that they did not make a mistake. That's for sure past the ninth day of Av. When that made them realize that the decree of God is over, is annulled, and it became a very joyous day for them until today. The 15th day of Av was the day the Jews found out that the decree upon them to die in the desert was over and they all will enter into Israel. That's the story, the first story of Tubab. There's many other stories coming after, but we're talking about the first one. That story is so much related to the ninth day of Av. The ninth day of Av was the sad day that people would die every year. The 15th day of Av, after 40 years, they saw and they found out that the decree was annulled and it became a joyous day. But really, if you look in deeper into the story, when was that decree annulled? Not at the 15th day of Av. It was annulled at the 9th day of Av. That 9th day of Av, the decree was annulled when everybody got up alive. They just didn't know about it. They did not know it was annulled. They only found out six days later the 15th day of Av, the decree is an old. That story tells us something so special. And the special part of that story is the 15th day of Av was only revealed to us the decree is an old. And that's why it became a holiday. But really, when did a holiday begun? It begun at the 9th day of Av. Just the 9th day of Av, they didn't know. The 15th they found out. But the ninth day of Av, this was really the day of celebration. This is the day when the miracle happened to them. They only found out later. And this brings us to a beautiful message. 
The ninth day of Av that we are talking about, a day of mourning. Really, this same ninth day of Av, this is the day that begins the celebration. This is the way it happened at the first time, at the first decree. The ninth day of Av was the beginning of the celebration of the miracle of God. They only found out later. The same thing is in all the decrees of the ninth day of Av. The ninth day of Av is a day that the temple was destroyed. But the Midrash tells us in the same day, the ninth day of Av, this is the day Mashiach is born. That's the day of our redemption. That's the day of Geula. The ninth day of Av represents a day that what we see, we see it as a negative day. But really, the positive begins from this day on. on. When do we see it? That's the 15th day of Av. And this is the day that we have from last night till the 15th day of Av. This is days that we're getting closer and closer to see the redemption, to see the miracle. But the miracle really begun at the 9th day of Av. We are today, right after the 9th day of Av, getting closer to the 15th day of Av. And the days of today, we have to know that yes, it was a sad day, the Shabbat. But really from Tisha B'Av, that's where the redemption begins. This is the day the Mashiach is born. And this is the day that we're getting closer to the redemption. And we got to hope that when the 15th day of Av, the same as the first time that redemption was revealed to them, they saw the miracle of the 15th of Av. We should again this year at the 15th of Av. It should be a day of celebration like the first time, when many times after it became a celebration, the revelation of the miracles of God. And this is what we have, the Shabbat in between. Always a Shabbat in between Tisha B'Av and the 15th of Av is called the Shabbat Nachamu. Shabbat Nachamu is called the Shabbat of Comfort. And why is it called the Shabbat of Comfort? Because of this Shabbat we're reading in the Aftara, Nachamu, Nachamu Ami. Comfort, comfort to my nation. When as we learn why the prophet said twice comfort, because this Shabbos, the prophet tells us that we have in comfort for the destruction of the first temple and destruction of the second temple. And this is the message that this Shabbos gives us even before the 15th day of Ab. What is the message as soon as the Shabbos is over? We have to know, yes, we are mourning at the destruction of the first temple, mourning at the destruction of the second temple, but really the comfort of God is coming. And we're going to see it soon, the way God is going to give us comfort and all the destruction that we had before, and all the plagues we had before, and all the sorrow, and all the surim that we went through, that we're going to see how all is going to turn around, that we're going to have only celebrations. The celebration should begin now. We don't see it yet, but we have to believe and know that it already started. And in Mitz Hashem, with God helps, we'll see it very, very soon, hopefully before Shabbos, and hopefully before the 15th of Ab. Every Savola, good Shabbos, and start celebrating, or start being happy that Mashiach is coming soon, and we're going to have the full redemption, the double comfort, Nachamu, Nachamu. Good Shabbos.